Hello, today I want to introduce you the Darkwave Studio software. It's a very easy and effective uh, software to produce electronic music like techno, electro, or so on. It's very easy, but uh, the first steps uh, you must to know if you want to produce with it. And we see we have um, uh, different areas in the software. This is Studio. Uh, where we uh, <coughs> create uh, new instruments. It's the pattern editor. We create patterns, uh, parts of our track, and then we can do this pattern in the sequence editor. We can put it together and then we have our own track. And the HD recorder is for recording, but there have some problems I can tell you later. Okay, we are beginning with the studio. This is the area. Uh, we must create instruments, um, so we need the right uh, button of your mouse and then we take one <coughs> electronic instrument, take this maybe. So, uh, we have to connect it with the master, uh, if we don't do this, nothing happens. Uh, and so we must it exactly, so we have a line out, we put it in the in and then we see this arrow and it's all okay. Okay, uh, we can see if we um, click there um, that we can make many different sound on it and this is a little playing, we can do it later. Okay, this was the beginning and now <coughs> we go to pattern editor because we want need pass sounds. And you see on the first thing we activate our electronic um, instrument. Then it's uh, important uh, to add a pattern because uh, if you don't do it, nothing happen. Okay, there we have it. And then the, you hear the first sounds. Um, and then we make a little electronic beat. Now it's only for instance. Um, if you see this, it's not so important. We can make not uh, so much uh, pattern we need. Um, so, okay, and it's very easy. Uh, take the left mouse click, you have a new um, sound, and you take the right, it's away. It's uh, every the same. So, now we have a first pattern, um, then we want to hear it. Then we go to the sequence editor. They are, uh, <coughs> combine, combine the different pattern and make a track of, from it. So, go here and you see um, it is highlighted here. And then we can, with the left mouse click, we can do our pattern. We have produced before you have seen it, yes. Then we can play it, yeah. It's not nice, but it's only for a test. And better we make over here a loop pattern, so it's better to hear. We can make a different uh, speed options. Uh. Yeah, you can imagine. Huh? So we can make a second um, pattern with the same instrument, uh, so we can uh, copy the areas. We go to the select mode, select this area, take the right mouse, we copy it, then uh, we make a new pattern with this plus button, ping, and we see there's pattern two and then only paste it. So, we have a copy of it because we want uh, a little more um, different sounds and different uh, style of this pattern. No? We must go to this, okay. And then we can variate this pattern. Okay, then this is ready. We go to sequence editor. editor. Uh, then we have uh, one pattern two. Oh no, we must go to first. We have first pattern, now we had second. So, and we can 
delete it, delete it, and if we take the left mouse button, we have the second. Uh, so we can make a little variation of the sound, it's uh, natural. Okay, if you play it, you hear it's different, okay? So, this is all, and then we take another instrument, um, we can hide it here, where we can hide it. Oh yeah, hide it. So we make a new instrument. We take uh, the bass head polyphonic. We have to connect it, it from line out to line in. And there we can make many, many uh, funny um, <coughs> um, different uh, things. So then we get back to the pattern editor. Uh, we choose the, the different um, uh, electronic uh, Klangerzeuger. So make a new um, pattern. So and you hear it. So we have here different sounds. We can play with it. It's no very important in this short test. So then we go to sequence editor, and you see. There we have a new line here, and then we can make here uh, where we want. We can stretch it, uh, show it um, different things. So then you can play it. Ah, the sound mo uh, likes more like GABA. But this sound, it's uh, possible to change if it's. Uh, here you hear it. And this is very important. Uh, and this is very funny thing to play with it, with the different uh, things here. But it's not, it's only to play, it's not for this uh, um, demonstration. Okay. No, you can make your own electronic music. It's no problem. There was only one problem with the HD recorder. Um, <coughs> the wave I produce with Dark Wave Studio don't work with other software. So I um, save it and I open it with another software. It's a very great uh, free software. It's called Audacity. Audacity, here you can see it. It's very, very good nearly professional um, HD recording software and then I load it in and I save it and then was all okay. Maybe this is the reason because many people don't like this very nice software uh, dark wave studio. It's not the power like other commercial software but it's funny and um, you can make interesting thing with it and you can combine it this wave to other um, sequencer software you have okay next time i bring you more and uh, um, try to speak a little better english excuse me i'm from germany and uh, see you later bye